Hey guys, David Bear here with Bear on Marketing and Advisor Inbound. And in this video, we're gonna be taking a look at the webinar platform that I love using most called Demio. Now I'm shooting this video because uh, Demio is just about to release uh, their brand new automated webinar feature, uh, something that I have been beta testing for uh, the last month or so, and uh, really, really like what they have in store for you. So um, if you're not familiar with um, uh, webinars, webinar platforms out there. Um, Demio is built really to be very simple, clean, and intuitive. Not as many bells and whistles as some, but far more than others. Uh, and it's something that uh, I think pretty much anybody in uh, any business that has to do any presentations um, should seriously take a look at. So um, I'm going to sort of walk you through um, uh, what uh, um, they're now putting into place. Uh, as I said, this is the beta interface. Uh, I, I'm pretty sure it's going to look just like this or something very similar to this uh, in the near future as soon as the automated events are launched. So what is the difference between a live event and an automated event? A live event uh, is one that uh, is presented live. So if I schedule an event and then I say it's gonna happen on a particular day and time, uh, I, as the presenter, will show up at that day and time and present. Uh, whereas an automated event is one that gets pre-recorded. And I'm gonna just uh, walk you through these pretty quickly to see the difference, but let's um, you know, put in a, a title and name for the event. This is a name that uh, is gonna show up for the general public to see. So um, you know, let's, let's call it something like, uh, um, LinkedIn for financial advisors. I probably would um, come up with a better title than that, but uh, it's a topic that I teach very often. So uh, now, do I want this to be a recurring event or do I want it to happen multiple times or do I want it to just happen one time? Well, I was just playing around with this before as you may have seen on the previous screen and I have one uh, just like this, which is showing up um, on the previous screen um, uh, at, uh, you know, October 3rd, which is the date that I'm recording this at 4 p.m. So uh, to us not to to not conflict with the uh, fake event that I just was playing with, um, let's make another fake event uh, at 5 p.m. today. And let's go ahead and say that that's um, so that's the name. That's when it's happening. And then I have the option to customize all of these other things as well. Uh, so I'm not going to get into the details of this. I'll show you in the next screen. Uh, but basically, let's say that I've saved and finished the event. Um, and now I have a share URL that I can go out and promote my event. Uh, now, if I want to do an automated event, let's go and hit add new event, right? And this time I'm gonna do an automated event. And it's gonna take me through the same routine, but you'll see there's something slightly different here. So let's say, um, we wanna say, uh, let's see, reputation management for financial advisors. Let's see if I can actually spell that correctly, Zors. Okay, now I can upload a video. Remember, this is an automated event, so it's something that has been pre-recorded or happened live uh, on a previous occasion. Uh, so I can upload an event or I can pull a uh, previously recorded event from my you know, previous um, webinars that I might have done. So let's go back and where was the one that I, the public controls your reputation uh, is the name of that one. Uh, and that's you know, reputation management uh, uh, training that I did. Now, it, this could be recurring. Uh, it could happen multiple times. It could happen one time or it could happen on demand. Uh, on demand means that when somebody signs up to watch it, it's then presented immediately after they sign up. So uh, let's say I want to have it recurring and I want to have it happen every week on, let's see, uh, Monday at four, and then I can add some additional time. So let's say I want to have it at Wednesday at, um, uh, I don't know. Let's say it's uh, Wednesday at 10 a.m. A.m. Let's see, how do you change it to a.m.? A.m.? <laughs> there we go. Uh, and then I also want to say that it's, you know, Wednesday at 4 p.m., and then I, you know, I could I could do this every day if I wanted to, uh, or let's say we have it at Friday at um, you know 10 a.m. Or you know, so let's just say it's those four times, right? Monday at four, Wednesday at 10 and four, and Friday at 10. 
and it's going to start today. Now I have the option to add an on-demand availability, um, uh, you know, enabling that, which means that when somebody signs up, um, they can actually watch it immediately, or they can pick one of these future times. In this case, I'm going to leave that off, and I'm going to show the next three dates available, the next three time and dates available. So. Um, you know, this is, I'm recording this on a Wednesday, so it's gonna show this uh, as Friday, Monday, and then the first Wednesday uh, is what we should see. So let's go ahead and hit, um, now that has been created. Uh, there's some options that I have in terms of, do I want people to be able to um, chat with each other or do I want them to only chat with me? So public or private, um, automatically redirect people to uh, a, a different page when the session is over. Again, I can choose yes or no, and if I choose yes, I need to put in the URL where I wanna send them. If I wanna have co-presenters, I can add them here, either as a moderator, um, in this case because it's recorded, or as a co-presenter if this were a live event. Um, registration, uh, the, the registration page, um, can be designed here, right? So I can um, put in a different logo if I want. Um, this is just a placeholder text uh, for, the, for the date and time, a um, little countdown, and then the, um, the name and email address uh, is set up like that. But I could also add an image or add a video or add um, uh, you know, bullet points uh, as well. So those are other options to change in there. I can change the, the default colors, all of that. Uh, I'm just gonna leave it as is. I also have the option to embed that form into an existing page. So let's say I wanted to show up on my website URL and that's where I want people to sign up instead of uh, on the Demio um, URL or domain. Um, that's a, another option. Um, and I actually like using that because then I can share the images, um, oh, excuse me, share the event and then the image will get pulled directly in to Facebook or LinkedIn. Um, whereas uh, right now Demio doesn't have a share image for social um, platforms set up for their uh, registration page. I actually was just talking to one of the guys over at um, Demio. They're, they're super, super responsive and super helpful. And uh, so Michael and I were having a conversation and he said that that's actually in the plans, uh, but no exact date at the moment. So uh, that's why I end up using the registration form on my pages so that I can actually create a customized share image. Um, email notifications. So these are the emails that will go out in advance of the webinar. Uh, a, an immediate confirmation, you can turn these on and off, uh, 24 hours before, one hour before, and then 15 minutes before. And you can customize each of these. There's a kind of templated section, and then if you wanna put some additional custom text in there, you can put that in there as well. Um, so basically, that's uh, kind of the intervals that they have determined um, get the most people showing up is to remind them um, in advance. And you know the custom stuff that you might put in are things like uh, get, you know reminding people to, um, uh, to, to bring a pad and, and a pencil, or uh, if there's a video that you want them to watch before they join so that they have kind of a little um, you know, pre-learning uh, um, period, um, uh, a prerequisite kind of you know, um, homework for them, you can put that in there as well. That's the kind of stuff that you might include. All right, integrations. So this is where you would uh, set up your uh, email um, service provider. And uh, so that when you capture leads from people who sign up for the webinar, you can actually also share them over to your email service. Uh, you can also put in tracking codes. And then if you have a resource that you want to add, that would be a handout during the uh, course of the, um, uh, the, the, the automated webinar, or you wanna have a poll, or you wanna have some other featured action, uh, you can include that here. So let's say you, know, you wanna, quiz people, right? You can ask a question and then have some different results and you can get them to, uh, you know, click on one of those and um, obviously that works a lot better during a live presentation than a, than a pre-recorded one. But if you are in the background actually um, monitoring all of this uh, live while the, the video is kind of playing, um, you can actually um, manage that manually if you want. So that's how that one works. Super, super simple, and then suddenly it's available to be watched. Now, let's take a look at what this thing looks like. So you'll recall, so let's go into an incognito window. All right, so here is 
the sign up for Reputation Management for Financial Advisors. Uh, it's today at 4 p.m. because uh, I said Wednesdays at 4 p.m. Uh, and then the next one is Friday at 10 a.m. and then Monday at 4 p.m. So uh, these are the next times that are available uh, and people can sign up for whichever one they want. Just put in your first name, your email address, and you're good to go. So that's pretty much how it works. Now, um, as I said, I like to currently embed these onto uh, other pages so that I can have a share image. Let me explain what that means because um, I'm sure as I was explaining all of that, uh, I realized that some people may not know what I'm talking about. So I'm heading over to LinkedIn. Uh, I still have that URL where that registration page um, uh, exists. And all I'm gonna do is just plug in that URL right into uh, this post here on, on LinkedIn, right? Okay, so let's see if it, it took or not. It was, it was still thinking as I hit paste. Okay, so now it's looking uh, for an image to uh, show. And right now what it's showing is um, my logo. That's the logo that, uh, that is the only image on that page uh, at the top. But I wanna actually customize this with a different logo. And that's why I currently need to embed it into um, one of my web pages, uh, which will allow me to then customize the, the share image um, that will show up on social media. So, um, it's as simple as that. Now I can, you know, say, uh, you know, join my upcoming webinar, blah, blah, blah. And, uh, and then hit it as a post. I could even run this as an ad uh, to get people to show up for my webinar. And I can have this running as an ad on an ongoing basis, especially because as you recall, it's an automated webinar that will keep repeating itself over and over until I tell it to stop. So that is um, kind of the, the front end of it. Now I'm gonna jump into the room and because I'm recording, uh, I'm not quite sure if it's going to allow me to get into the room and show you everything. Um, okay, so it knows that it's me. And this is basically what it looks like if from the back end for a presenter. So, um, there's the general chat and the admin only chat, which means that if I had you know somebody else back here with me, uh, they would they would only see this. This would be kind of my conversation with my co-presenters if I had any. Um, let's see, we have the the chat set to private, so people can't really uh, talk to us anyway. Uh, and I, it's kind of cool. I can just get rid of that. Um, focus on this now. Where is everything? Well, the um, uh, it's all kind of hidden right over here, but if I want to have a presentation uh, show up, um, you know, I have no attendees at the moment, um, all of that stuff is really easily managed right here, and then I can get it out of the way so that if I were like running slides or something, it would all be right here and I could advance through the slides. Um, so that's kind of how that works. Um, let's do this um, because I, I, I figure, all right, I'm going to show you this one. Why don't I show you one that uh, I have done? Okay, so my worst fear came true and it actually did kick me out of Camtasia while I was trying to record this because the webinar software wanted to record me as well. So um, it should look something like this. Um, and so it's gonna do a little test, making sure that everything works. I'm gonna go ahead and hit yes, it works just fine. Uh, then let's take a look at, let's see, do I, I have a presentation material. I don't have any that I've uploaded. Uh, but I do have the ability to share my screen, so I could do something like, uh, I don't know, uh, my calendar, or, uh, or, or I want to change the window to something else. Um, apparently, I have this about this Mac um, window open, so we could we could you know do that, and it would share the screen there. Um, so that that's the kind of stuff that I have the option to uh, include. Um, if I had a presentation open, you know, I could open like, um, uh, uh, you know, uh, PowerPoint or Keynote and present something, or I could upload the presentation and it would actually turn into a PDF that I could scroll through right here inside of Demio. So that's kind of how this all works. Uh, I'd hit start webinar and poof, I would be off to the races, uh, to be able to, uh, present my webinar. Anyway, that's what it looks like inside. Really super simple. Uh, and as I said, I absolutely adore Demio and I'm excited about this new automated events um, uh, 
addition to their platform, which um, I, I think you will adore as well. If you're interested in Demio, uh, there is a link uh, under this video um, to learn more about them and uh, see the different options for how you can set up your own account. Um, if you do click on that link, uh, it is my affiliate link and I do get paid a percentage of the proceeds uh, when you make your purchase. However, it does not cost you any more to click that link than it does to go right over to their website. So uh, if, if uh, you like this video, you found some benefit to it and you do decide to go ahead and purchase Demio, uh, I will benefit as a result. Thank you so much for your patronage.